Hey guys, what's up? Once again, it is MP4Podcast.com, bringing you some most interesting video game news that you guys need to know up, know about. Did I say that right? Well, anyway, let's get on with the story. You know, we don't really have a lot of choice today when it does come to American or North American football. I know the Canadian Football League as well, NFL, so on. We really don't have a lot of choice in the football game that we want to buy. And one of the reasons is because that is because big, dirty, scumbag EA, they buy all the licenses to all the football uh, uh, leagues and everything. They buy the NFL one. They buy the NCAA one. They buy, uh, you know, the Canadian football uh, one. They bought arena football. They own all the football uh, licenses. So you can't, the only way you can make a football game is with make-believe characters. You know, make-believe teams you know, everything. Just like all pro football, 2K8, I believe there was another uh, football game that came out for PlayStation uh, uh, 3 and Xbox 360. I can't remember the name. It was supposed to be revolutionary, like how you see through the helmet and so on. Just didn't really take off that well. Uh, But at at least they tried. But there is another football game that doesn't have any pro football players, but you want this game. This is a Kickstarter project. They're going to try and make a new version of Mutant League Football. Now, it's technically not a sequel. I don't want to say sequel, but they're going to change the name around a little bit because somebody else owns Mutant League Football, but they don't own the rights to mutants. They don't own the rights to football. So it's going to be a a spiritual successor to the old great 16-bit Mutant League, Mutant League football game. Now I can tell you this about uh, Mutant League sports games. Uh, people are still talking about these games today. Okay, we're going into whatever the eighth, ninth. I think it's the ninth, eighth generation of the you know the great console war with PlayStation Four, Xbox One, Nintendo Wii U, and so on. People are still talking about Mutant League football. Mutant League Hockey. And the only other sports game that I keep on hearing people keep on bringing up all the time is NHL uh, 94. Now that was an EA one, but it just goes to show you that there's something special about Mutant League football. And I don't really talk a lot about a lot of Kickstarter projects because there's always a new, 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 new Kickstarter project all the time. There's like probably like five Kickstarter projects a day or something like that for all these games that want to be made and so on. But the reason why I really want to talk about this one is because I want to see another football game that I can buy that's not Madden, okay? That comes out maybe on a consistent basis. I mean, I'm not saying that this guy should make a new mutant football game every year. It be nice if we got one or two every generation and I'm hoping it is successful enough that it will be profitable enough so these guys can maybe make more mutant sports games I would love to see a return of mutant league hockey um, mutant league soccer I mean the list goes on and on one of my favorite baseball games that I used to play back in the arcade days I can't remember the title of it but it was a Neo Geo um, robot baseball game and I used to play it way way back in the day and I feel a little embarrassed right now that I can't remember the name but I loved that baseball game and it didn't have you know the Boston Red Sox didn't have the Yankees didn't have Fenway Park and so on but I didn't care I liked the I liked the artwork to it it was fun it was robots it was goofy it was enjoyable to play and I think that's one of the reasons why people love Mutant League football is because it it even though it doesn't have the real you know, players and so on. It doesn't have Tom Brady and so on. Or it doesn't have Foxborough Stadium. It's a fun game to play. And it's a little a little exaggerated. And I think that's one of the reasons why people are really open to, uh, you know, a football game that's like kind of a little bit out there and crazy. Because it's not competing with the NFL. It's not competing with the NCAA. So, okay, so it's not competing with these professional uh, sports league or college leagues and so on. So what I'm going to be doing in this video, I'm going to be leaving the Kickstarter link in the description box of this video. If you are a fan of Mutant League football back in the day for the Sega Genesis, 
Genesis or the hockey version. Donate 15 bucks, you get an iPhone version, Android version. Um, there's some other perks in there. Just, just read, you know, whatever. Um, and I wish these guys luck. So once again, guys, this has been mp4podcast.com signing out. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and keep on gaming. Later, guys. Bye.